In this tutorial, we will do semantic segmentation training with custom data. We will train the network to recognize a stage on which the robot is running. In the right image, the red region is the recognized stage. And the green circle is a centroid of the recognized region. As we can see, the stage is recognized precisely regardless of the robot's orientation. This can be useful, for example, for remote control of the robot. Imagine that you are driving a robot on a road watching the front camera image, which is on the left upper side of this monitor. Also, we may have images from the right camera and left camera which are pointing diagonally downward. If you try to drive fast, it will be difficult to see all these images at once. So, when the robot is too close to the edge, that is when coordinates of the centroid exceed some values, we can notify the driver by displaying a warning message on the camera image. Now, let's see how we design this function. Firstly, we have to prepare training data. To do this, we should run the simulation. So, we will install several packages. Install the ROS2 control package. The ROS2 control is a framework for control of robots using ROS2. Then, install the ROS2 controllers package. This package contains commonly used and generalized controllers for ROS2 control framework. Other ROS2 control related packages will be installed automatically along with these two packages. Install Gazebo. Next, install Gazebo ROS packages. Gazebo ROS packages is a set of ROS packages that provides the necessary interfaces to simulate a robot in Gazebo. It integrates with ROS using ROS messages, services and dynamic reconfigure. Install the Gazebo ROS2 control package. This package integrates the ROS2 control controller architecture with the Gazebo simulator. Now we are ready to run the simulation. Please, download the OmniDrive zip file and unzip it to your home directory. Move the segmentation stage folder into the models folder. Open the RS Robot SDF file. Move to the very bottom of the file. Here, change username to your username. Then build this package using the Colkin build command. To run the simulation, launch the manual operation launch pi script. After Gazebo World appears, open another terminal and run the camera image publisher pi script. The image of the side camera will appear. By using the print screen command, take a screenshot of this image. Then move your robot to another place and take another screenshot. Repeat this operation until you will have enough images. In this tutorial, we have taken about 50 images. Open your images in any paint application you like. In this tutorial we will use PaintNet. Cut and save an image you going to use for training. In this tutorial we will use images 640 by 480 size. 
After this operation we will have a collection of images like this. Now, we are going to annotate our data. For annotation, we will use this label me tool. Using this tool, we can draw a polygon for semantic segmentation. The installation is very simple. Just execute this command. If you have not installed PIP yet, install it. PIP is a package management system used to install and manage software packages written in Python. After installation, execute the label me command. The GUI window will appear. Click on the Open Deer button and choose directory in which images for training are stored. After an image appears, click the Create Polygon button. By clicking on the boundaries of the stage, create a polygon. Try to surround the region you want to train as precisely as possible. After we close the region, enter class name. To save annotation results, click the Save button. Then, click the Next Image button. Do this procedure for all images you want to annotate. After our work is completed, we will have a JSON format annotation file for each image. But to train YOLO, we should convert JSON files to YOLO format files. To do this, we will use the label me to YOLO tool. This package helps converting label me annotation tool JSON format to YOLO text format. Install this tool using pip. To convert JSON files to YOLO format, run the label me to YOLO command. Note that we have to specify directory in which JSON files are stored in proportion of validation data. After executing this command, we can see that our data has been divided into test, train and validation sets. And annotation data has been converted to YOLO format. After installation of the LabelMe2 YOLO tool, you may have problems with launching the LabelMe annotation tool. This problem is caused by OpenCV. So, firstly, uninstall OpenCV. According to this issue, this problem can be solved by installing OpenCV headless version. Now we can launch our annotation tool successfully. Since we have prepared training data, now we can train our network. Please download the segtrain zip file and extract it to your home directory. Move to the data sets directory. Open the YOLO data set folder we previously generated. Move the images and labels folders to dataset directory. Also, modify my data seg yaml file. Change username and path. Train and val represent relative paths to your training and validation data. Here we define indexes and names of classes we will train. We will use the YOLO v8 train script to train our model. In this line we define initial model which we will use for training. In this line, we define directory of the YAML file we previously modified. The training process begins by using training method. 
Here we should set batch size, data directory path, epoch number and image size as an argument. Note that you should set batch size according to your GPU memory. Otherwise, memory error will occur. Now open a new terminal and execute this script. When you are executing this script for the first time, it will take an extra time since required PT files will be downloaded. The training process has finished successfully. The training result is saved in the train directory. Here you can find various data regarding training. Copy the best PT file from the weights folder and place it to the seg train folder. Also, copy any picture from dataset and place it here as well. Let's see inference script. YOLO v8 inference script is also very simple. Here we define directory of a weights file and a model. In those lines, we specify an image for inference and do prediction. The prediction result is stored in the prediction folder. As we can see, we have successfully predicted the stage surface. Now let's see the script we will use to do real-time semantic segmentation. This is the same part as the inference script we have previously seen. Here, we define model path and create a model. In this line we define a NumPy array for stage region calculation. In OpenCV, colors are represented by the BGR format. So, we set 255 for all pixels in the third layer of the array to paint the stage in red. In these lines, image topic is converted to a NumPy array and inference is done. Further operations are done if we have valid inference results. This is a method to convert tensor to NumPy. Here, we reshape image to do further mathematical operations. By multiplying stage region matrix and inference result, we can get a red colored stage region. Since result will be obtained in the float type, we convert it to integer type. Add weighted function is used to blend two images. The second and fourth arguments are weights of first and third images respectively. In these lines we find centroid of segmented region using the moments function. Here, MOO is zero order moment. For a binary image, the zeroth order moment corresponds to the area. And for a grayscale image, this corresponds to sum of pixel intensity values. In case of binary image, the center coordinate can be found by dividing sum of coordinates around x or y axis by area. In these lines we draw a centroid and show the image if we have valid results. Now let's launch the simulation. Launch the manual operation launch pi script. Then run the semantic segmentation pi script. We have successfully performed semantic segmentation. Now let's check the script to do simulation with operator warning system. Since we have two side cameras, we define two NumPy arrays, one for each camera. Here, we define three camera subscribers for each camera. In the commander node, 
we do semantic segmentation for right and left camera images. In these lines, centroid coordinates are used to determine whether the robot is too close to the border. In case the robot is too close, velocity command is set to zero to prevent the robot falling. Also, we set a global variable warning to value which represents to which sign we are close. The hstack command stacks arrays in sequence horizontally. Using this command, we join right and left images. In this part, if there is a warning, we print it on the upper side of the image. To run this simulation, launch the manual operation with sslaunchpy script. Also, open Revis 2 and visualize operation window and semantic segmentation result topics. We can see that when the robot is too close to the side of the stage, a warning message appears in the operation window.